Welcome to Hull College's Cannon Street campus. This video explains how to remove and refit a wheel. Use jack safely and follow workshop health and safety procedures. Before entering the workshop, the correct PPE must be worn. This stands for Personal Protective Equipment. PPE comes in various forms from protective gloves to eye protection. Overalls protect you from many workshop hazards. The correct footwear is essential. Safety boots protect your feet from workshop injuries. The correct hand protection should always be used. Barrier cream provides a barrier between your hands and oils and greases. Latex gloves offer the same protection. It's best to try both and find which one works for you. Before the vehicle is worked on, we must ensure that it is secure. Chalk the wheels that are not being worked on and activate the part brake. In order to remove a wheel, we must loosen the wheel nuts before jacking the vehicle. The tools we need for this task are a strong arm and socket set. Once we have selected the correct size socket, we can begin to loosen the wheel nuts. Remember, do not completely remove the nuts at this stage. Some vehicles have a locking nut to protect from theft. This fits onto the existing socket before removal. For the next step, you will need an axle stand and a trolley jack. On the windscreen of the vehicles at Cannon Street, there is an instructional sheet showing where the jacks and stands are to be used on the vehicle. Jack the vehicle to the desired height. To complete this task, the wheel only needs to be a few inches from the floor. Once the car is raised, place the axle stand in the correct position under the vehicle. Lower the vehicle onto the axle stand. Remember, no work should be carried out on the vehicle without an axle stand. Now, the wheel nuts can be fully removed. This tool is called a wheel brace. Phrase to remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. The wheel can now be removed. To refit the wheel, refit the wheel nuts and loosely tighten all four. Slide the trolley jack back under the vehicle. Make sure the jack is in the correct position and lift the vehicle off the axle stand. Remove the axle stand and lower the trolley jack. The wheel nuts must be tightened to the correct torque. This can be found by using a wall chart or by using auto data on the computer terminals. Vehicle data can be found by manually entering its information or selecting the VRM icon and entering the vehicle's registration number. Once you have a vehicle match, select the technical data icon, then onto tightening torques. Scroll down the menu to find road wheels. This car has a setting of 98 to 118 newton meters. To tighten the wheels to the correct setting, you must use a torque wrench. Set the torque wrench to the desired setting by adjusting the slide on the handle. Use the torque wrench to tighten the wheel nuts. When you hear a click, the wheel nut is set correctly. Ensure all wheel nuts are tightened. Once all the wheel nuts are tightened, ensure that the torque wrench is returned to zero to prevent spring damage. Ensure all tools and equipment is put away and your work area is clean and tidy. Although hand protection is used, you must still wash your hands after working on a vehicle. Oils and lubricants can lead to skin cancer, so don't take any risks. Once your hands are dry, apply a small amount of after work cream.